does distinguish itself in combat, a small bonus can now be awarded to it. Well, okay, pick a bonus. We have either new recruits or discipline. Hmm. Instant recovery, 50 health points, which right about now I need for a permanent 10% strength and range strength. Permanent 10% strength. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, since my guys are hurting, 10% strength is not going to do you any good if you're dead. So I'm going to I'm going to heal them for right now. There we go. That will help. Choose a research. Ah. Got to defend ourselves. Upgrade available. Oh, yeah. Um, this is the only upgrade. Alright. Select perk. 4% strength. 15% when attacking. Plus 5% heal when not embarked. Okay, plus four strength. Select one perk. 15% when attacking. I don't know, I kind of like the heal perk too. That's a plus five when they're not doing anything. Ah, that's all right. We'll do that. All right. Ooh, combat rover. I didn't know we had a combat rover. Uh, unit needs orders. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Are we on an island? Central. Let's explore down towards central here. Uh oh, that's what I thought. All right, let's attack these guys. Too bad, not too bad. Next turn. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. Okay. Ooh, I get to pick another bonus instant recovery or disciplined veterans. Let's this time, let's go with the disciplined veteran. And we want to fortify until healed. All right. Oh, can we do both generators and farms? Cool. Ooh, what is this? Construct a mine here. Do I do that with the worker or the explorer? find out. Potato. What? Potato? Who said potato? Oh no! I got jumped. That's not good. That's why I fortified a little extra defense. 
Here we go. Construct a mine. Alright. Next turn. I uh, hope my army's not wiped out. Uh, who are these guys? ARC soldiers. Well, we've got no beef with them. Want to stay out of there. Oh. We got a couple of those guys. Uh, let's see what this is. Ooh. Axiom. What is Axiom? Have I been there? Whose city is that? Next turn. Oh, man. What happened? I got jumped. Again. My bu the bugs attacked. Okay. Can I? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, it will not let me into the areas that is occupied by somebody else. Okay. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, a lot of swamp gas everywhere. Well, I think it's time to go across the ocean. That's that's what I'm thinking. All right, let's let's go back up here and uh, launch a launch a boat. Next turn. Alien is detected. Oh, it's these guys. Great. All right. Let's launch our uh, death ray. Take them out. Hurry up and get that defense grid up. Oh. Oh. What is that? Are those sandworms? What is this, Doom? Oh, great. Quest update. Uh, worm killing. I traded my life for my leg when I met the great worm. Now, with all the fury and courage this cripple can bring to bear, I hunt. I hunt the earth drinker. I hunt the worm. Kill one siege worm. Great. No oh, goody. Next turn. Next turn. 
All right, we want to set out on the ocean. So, embark mode. And we want to go over here, over here, over here, over here. That's it. Pardon me, I may be able to assist you. Oh, good. I need assistance. Uh, you may now build trade units. I thought I was already doing that. Unit needs orders. I want you to go here. Yay. You know, there's an advantage and a disadvantage to programming your units ahead of time. The advantage is you don't have to micromanage. The disadvantage is you kind of forget where everybody is at, what they're doing, and the turns go really, really, really fast. All right, where am I? Uh, let's see here. I need to choose a production. All right. What do we need? What do we need? We need an old earth relic. Why? Because it only takes four turns. That's why. <laughs> why not? I don't know. We'll make it up as we go along. Then we'll justify it later. A unit needs orders. Okay, we've already built a mine here. Ooh, it's recommending a generator. So we'll go here. And we'll build a generator. I like it when it recommends things. Keeps me from having to think. Um, ooh, 57 to 15. I like those odds. Take them out. What? I should have wiped them out. You can found an outpost with your colonists. Outposts eventually grow into cities. An outpost will prosper when founded in a location with plentiful food. So choose a location with food producing resources or grassland if possible. Move your colonists to a fertile location and found an outpost. Okay, move our colonists to a fertile location. Where is my colonist? All right, they're still there. Thank you. Um, what are these? Found an outpost here, found, oh, nice. It recommends a place, cool. Well, if and you remember what I was saying earlier about a good place to build cities is along rivers. This one looks a lot better than this one because this one has a crag and swamp gas. Not much ability for growth. So I'm going to say here. Good. Ooh. Somebody died. What happened? What happened? 